you like our content, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get alerts when we introduce new videos. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to create AP groups using the Unleashed user interface. Access point groups can be used to define configuration options and apply them to groups of APs at once without having to modify each AP settings individually. This allows the administrator greater network control. For each group, administrators can create a configuration profile that defines the channels, radio settings, Ethernet ports, and other configurable fields for all members of the group or for all APs of a specified model in the group. By default, all APs are members of the system default AP group. AP group configuration settings can be overridden by individual AP settings. For example, if you want to set the transmit power to a lower setting for only a few specific APs, leave the transmit power adjustment at auto in the system default AP group. Then go to the individual AP configuration page and set the transmit power settings to a lower setting. To configure AP groups, I would go to the access points. So I have two displays here. This is the default group, which shows the three access points. If I click on the next box over, this is the group view, and it shows that I have a total of one AP group, which is the default. And if I click on that system default, you'll see the three APs. To create a group, I would select Create, and I'm going to give the group a name. And I'm going to call this one Art Studio, as I'm representing an Art Studio here. And then we would select the APs that we want to be in the group. So I'm going to take this R510 here that says Art Studio Mesh, and I'm, and I'm going to move it into the selected APs for this group. Then I'll select Next. And this is the available WLANs. So I'm going to take the Art Studio WLAN, and I'm going to move that into the selected WLANs for that group. Then I will select Next. And here I have my radio settings. So I've got 2.4 gigahertz radio settings, I got five, and then I've got some other settings here. So under 2.4 gigahertz, the defaults are channelization is auto, channel is auto, transmit power is auto, call administration is off, and WLAN service is enabled, and protection mode is RTS slash CTS. And I could change that to CTS only or to none. So I can adjust these. I can turn these channels on and off. If I want to do my channelization, I could set channels specifically to auto or 20 or 40. Let's say if I had a high bandwidth device out there that was a video server, I might want to pick 40 for the 2.4. On the 5 gigahertz radio, I have similar settings. So I have all the various channels represented here. I could slice and dice and pick the ones that I wanted. Channelization is auto by default, or I could select up to 80 megabits if I had a video server or something on that. Remember, as we mentioned earlier, that if these are set to auto, then I would go to the individual APs, set up my channelization. And then under the other tab, under model specific control, if I had a particular AP that I wanted to configure, such as the R510, I could select that and I could set the maximum allow of clients and I could also set my status LEDs. By default, the status LEDs are on. If I wanted to disable those, I could tick that box. And this might be used, for example, if you were in a hotel room and you didn't want the LEDs to show in the hotel room. So we're going to tick that off. Then I'll click on Finish. And as you can see now, under my AP groups, I have the system default and I also have my art studio. So if I click on that, I could remove that group or I could edit that group if I wanted to make some changes to it. So for example, if I click on my Art Studio group, you'll see that I have one AP in here. It gives me the MAC address and the IP address, and it shows that there's one WLAN associated with that. And at this point in time, we have two clients associated with that. If I go to the system default group, here we have two APs associated with that. We have two wireless LANs, and we have a total of four clients on that one. If I wanted to remove that group, I could select the group, and then I could click on Remove. And it says, are you sure you want to remove the selected AP? I'll click on OK. And that will go ahead and take that group out there. And now if I go back to my normal list, you'll see that we have our three APs. And if I go back to my group list, you'll see that we just have the system default. So as you can see, it's very easy to create AP groups and define configuration options and apply them to groups of APs at once without having to modify each AP settings individually.